so yeah, Mike here. Um, you know, as you all may know, I, I do some videos on drones. You know, I'll do a freaking video on anything. Uh, and today I'm outside here trying to uh, find the perfect place to fly. And I think this is going to be perfect once the uh, trees are snow covered. It's going to make a great snow tunnel, as I call it, um, for a shot uh, that I need to do for the winter time. So when we get some weather and some snow on the trees, uh, I think this is the place to come. But anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about what my source was saying about the DJI company. So hold on a second. I'm going to go find a place to sit down. Uh, I wasn't prepared for this, but I just got a message from her and I want to share it with you. So anyway, my good friend, uh, she lives here in the United States and works with D, uh, the DJI company, not for DJI, works with them here in the States. Uh, she is right now overseas vid visiting some relatives, her family, uh, and some friends. While she was there, she wanted to uh, go see the DJI facility. She wanted to meet some of her coworkers. It's, she says, you know, hey, I want to meet them in person instead of on computer. So. You know, uh, that was one of her things she wanted to do over there. Well, I'm just been get, I've been text messaging her back and forth. So if I look at my phone and, and pull up some notes, I, ju I just want to be accurate with you guys. And I want to share um, her findings over there. So anyway, she went over there to uh, get a tour. Unfortunately, uh, the DJI main office is closed. Uh, not fully closed. I shouldn't say closed. They're actually doing uh, some major renovations construction uh, So unfortunately she couldn't get into the building to see uh, what's going on However, she did meet up with a few colleagues uh, two from the business and financial department and one From the technologies and research department. So I'd like to share with you what they had to say well, first of all, as it pertains to uh, the DJI company itself, what's the buzz? What's going on? Well, the talk around uh, what, what my colleague is saying, my friend is saying, they're talking really about different government restrictions on their gr uh, drone. While it's not a big um, issue for them, they are talking about it. They're wondering if that's going to hurt their uh, drone sales at all. But really more concerning uh, with that, believe it or not, is the United States. Yeah, the United States with their talk about trying to ban DJI products, uh, specifically drones, in uh, the United States. Now that doesn't really affect the consumer like you and me, hobbyists, things like that. But the military, um, any government agency, they will not be able to purchase uh, DJI products in fear of... DJI collecting vital information and giving it to their government. So that hasn't been proven yet, but it is on the minds uh, over there. They are speaking about it. I don't get a sense that it's they're going overboard, but really what one of the business partners was telling my friend is that kind of allows the opportunity for a new drone startup company to enter the market in the United States because they understand how patriotic we are. And if we find out that in fact, DJI is collecting information for the government, again, it hasn't been proven, but if we find that our government is telling the truth, that may really give the opportunity for another company to compete with them and saying, look, we are not DJI. We're not gonna, we're not gonna you know, give your information away. Seriously though, I don't think they have anything to worry about. I think they got that consumer market all locked up. So what's coming out? That's that's the big question. What is DJI working on? Let me pull this up here. Sorry, I gotta get, put my glasses on. Oh, yes, so, okay. So what DJI wants to do is they want to get into the consumer market a little bit more. Yes, they have their pro versions of drones and, and gimbals and things like that, but they're really focusing 
right now on the consumer market, specifically the action camera. Yeah, they, they re recently launched the Action 4, I, I believe it is. I don't use the DJI action camera, I actually use a GoPro. And I hear it's, it's a really, really good camera and it gives GoPro a run for its money. Well, guess what? They wanna launch a new one. Let me see if I can pull up the specs on that. Uh, what's being talked about? Again, this is all hearsay, but hey, it's fun, right? Let me see. Okay. Okay, so first of all, they wanna cut into um, GoPro's marketplace by at least 25%. They wanna gain that market share. So how are they gonna do that? Their next action cam is speculated to have a one inch stacked sensor, which is great for low light, five to 6K video resolution, and a 200, um, what is that? 200 bit rate transfer rate. I don't know exactly what that is, but I hear it'll give you outstanding picture quality. Uh, of course, it's going to have an increased battery life and all of that is in addition to what the Action 4 already has. So, you know, shock resistancy, a uh, touch screen on the front and back, and of course, waterproof. So all of that on, in addition to the upgrades and a starting price that is very competitive with the GoPro. So if that camera comes out and they're speculating, they wanna get this done so within 18 to 24 months. So GoPro, watch out, they're coming. Okay, well, now on to the good stuff. And I'm sure everybody is here for this. What is coming out in the drone market? So a little history about the DJI company. About 10 years ago, they launched their Phantom series drone. And that was kind of a big, eh, that's super big, but a, a, a pretty big star shaped drone like you see in the picture here. Uh, it, it was launched, it came with no camera. I believe the flight time was only 10 to 15 minutes. It, the top speed was not even 20 miles an hour for this drone and you had to actually put in I think four AA batteries into the remote controller and the range was hardly anything less than a half a mile and it worked on a 2.4 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi connection so really a basic platform that uh, the consumer had to use their own camera so you know a lot of people use the GoPro put the GoPro on it and it worked fine. So DJI says, wow, I can't believe it. What a, what a thing. So let's, let's make more. So they updated the Phantom and the two and the three. They added a camera on it. They increased the flight time. Uh, the flight time was up to 25 minutes. The camera was either a 2.7 or a 4K camera. It went, I believe they increased the speed up to 30 miles an hour and the, um, the transmission system was upgraded and you got up to two miles of transmission range on that not bad and even today people are still using the phantom 4 because it does still give you a nice platform and produces some pretty good pictures well back in the, in the 2016 dji came out with the foldable drone why the foldable drone if the phantom is so good well hey phantom is great but it's kind of large really tough to pack up and stick under the seat in front of you on an airplane or put it in a backpack and go hiking with it you know it was big it was bulky and it wasn't really user friendly taking it places so introducing the foldable drone starting with the mavic series air 2 and right now that's what we see is dji's foldable drone line starting with the mini series which is their lightweight drone, their Air series, and of course, their Mavic and Mavic Pro series. So all of this is what they've been building on since 2016. Great. I mean, what a leap from the Phantom. I mean, now their range is, I believe the um, Air 3 is getting 12 miles. The uh, Mavic Pro has three cameras on it just amazing quality so how can that be beat i don't know how that can be beat quite honestly but 
here it goes. Um, I'm going to tell you what's being talked about. Um, let me just get there. Again, glasses. So let me just go over a little bit of detail um, what my friend is telling me. All right, I'm just going to break it down into three sections. The transmission system, the airframe, and the camera. I'm going to go over each of them and tell you what is on the drawing board, what's being talked about, and what the hope is. First, sorry to say, guys, but there's not going to be any more N1 or N2 controllers. All of the controllers going forward are going to have the integrated uh, screen. Uh, that is their goal. The feedback on it has been overwhelmingly good. Plus, I believe it's going to cut down on costs a little bit. You don't, they don't have to provide an app for the phone or tablet, and they don't have to provide wires. So I think that's a win-win situation. Number two. The current transmission system is what, what they say is called AccuSync. For the next iteration of drones, it may be renamed. Uh, it may not, but they're talking about renaming their transmission system and having the ability to go from 15 to 20 miles in range. I don't know if that's a possibility. Of course it's a possibility. They can do anything, but it's definitely going to make the transmission a lot more stable. And that is due to number two, which is the airframe. It's going to remain a similar design, the foldable design. However, the flight time is being talked about is being one hour or more. Amazing. I can't believe they can, they can do that. An increase in ascending and descending speeds, just like the Air 3 has. And an increase in forward speed to at least 50 miles an hour. Ooh, you're going to get some nice action shots with that. Also, advanced onboard av avoidance system, similar to Skydio. Now, for all you drone people, you know Skydio is out of the consumer market now, but they had great avoidance systems. Um, a 360, I believe that what they do is it can constantly takes pictures and compares them. So DJI wants to use that technology in their updated drone. Uh, flight time again is, is over an hour. Number three, the camera. The current Hasselblad system with the variable aperture main camera is going to stay. All right. However, all the, of the cameras, so I assume they're talking about the Mavic series because it's it says, oh, it's more than one. There you go. Is going to have at least 10 bit D log with stacked sensor technology. So for those of you who are using multiple cameras and having a bit of a tough time color, color matching, that's not gonna be an issue anymore. So I hear. And it's gonna have the stacked sensor technology, which makes it even better uh, for low light. It's gonna have a better tracking system and ex extended gimbal movement. Now I don't know whoever has the Air, or the Air, I'm sorry, the Mavic, series. I know it's a big gimbal, uh, but I guess it doesn't move enough. I don't know. I don't have one. So that's what they want to do. Uh, also, they want to have an increased video bit rate from the current 200 megabytes per second to a maximum of 400 megabytes per second. Um, so perhaps, I mean, I'm, again, I don't I'm not a technology guru. I don't know if that can be transferred to an SD card. So I'm thinking if it can't, they're going to have a bit more onboard storage. And that would be a good thing, I would think. But you all can tell me, is 400 megabits per second, is that able to be transferred to an SD card? I, I don't know. Um, again, this is all being talked about. I'm kind of like the fourth, fifth, or sixth person to hear this. It's coming from people who work at DJI telling my friend this. So I, I don't know what's true, what's not true, but I can tell you what is true. And this is a good one. I'm, I'm glad you waited to the end. All of these leaks that come out, you know these big leakers, the reputable leakers, 
<laughs> Believe it or not, I'm sure you know this, they're all approved. All of these leaks are approved by the company, which I think is a great marketing tool to use. They actually use it to gauge consumer feedback and they love when these quote unquote leaks get aired because you know as well as I do these reputable leakers in a few months you see the drone and it's pretty damn close to what's being shown on YouTube. So when you see these leaks, when you hear these big YouTube drone guys and all these leakers come out, you can pretty much take that to the bank because DJI has approved that, <laughs> which I think is awesome. So again, thanks for watching. I'm Mike, and if I hear anything else uh, from my friend, I will certainly let you know, but she's uh, on her way back today. I don't think she's gonna be meeting with anybody else. And have a wonderful day. Oh, and by the way, those drones, you can expect them within the next 20 to 24 or 25 months. That's their goal. That's their timeline. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. Again, this is pretty much entertainment as far as I'm concerned. Have a wonderful day and thanks a lot.